Hello. Today we're going to talk about solving log equations, choosing the definition of a log. So there's four steps. The first thing you want to do is write the equation in the form log base b of m equals c, but basically you just want to get the log on a side by itself. The second thing you want to do is use the definition of a logarithm. Whoops, we left the m off to write it in exponential form. So we've already talked about this. If you have the log base b of m equals c, that just means that b to the c equals m. And we'll just change it from this form to exponential form. All right, and then the next thing you wanna do is solve for the variable. So you'll get the variable on the side by itself. And then just check your solutions. You wanna make sure you don't include anything that would mean you're taking the log of a number that's not positive. You can only take the log of positive values. So this M part right here, or right here, has to be greater than zero. So let's do some examples. All right, for the first one, we have the log base three of X equals five. So the log's already on a side by itself. So we just want to change the form. So let's change it to exponential form. This means that three raised to the five is equal to X. So all we'll need to do is figure out what three to the fifth is, and that would be 243. And that's it, that's a positive number. I'm good, that's the solution, done. All right, let's look at the next one. We have the log base six of x plus two is equal to two. So let's change this to exponential form. We would have six raised to the two equals x plus two. And then six squared is of course 36. To undo addition, we subtract and we get x equals 34. And that's, if I plug that in, 34, Four plus two is 36, so I am good. And that's the solution. Let's do another one. We have the log base four of x minus two equals negative one. So this means four raised to the negative one is equal to x minus two. Now remember, to get rid of that negative exponent, I'm gonna move that to the denominator. And four raised to the one is just four. To undo subtraction, we add, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So we get x is equal to 2 and a fourth, and this is big boy math, so that would be 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 fourths. And if I plug that in, 9 fourths minus 2 is a fourth, which is a positive number, so I'm good. The solution is 9 fourths. Let's look at another one. All right, we have the natural log of x is equal to four. Remember, the natural log is just a log with the base of e. So I'm gonna rewrite that. And now let's change it to exponential form. We would have e to the fourth equals x. And guess what? We're done. We're gonna leave it like that. e to the fourth is definitely a positive number. So that is my solution. I am done. Let's look at another one with a natural log. All right, for this one, before I do anything, I need to do that step one and get the log by itself. So I'm gonna divide both sides by four. And we get the natural log of nine X is equal to three. Remember, this is just the log base E of nine X equals three. And let's change that to exponential form. So we have E to the three, our third power, is equal to nine X. To get rid of that nine or to undo that multiplication, we divide. So we get X is equal to E to the third divided by nine. That would be positive, so that's good. My solution is E cubed over nine. Remember, E is Euler's number. All right, let's do one more, just to be sure. For this one, we have the log base two of X plus five equals four. The log is isolated, so I'm ready to change it to exponential form. So we have two to the four is equal to x plus five. 
Two to the fourth power is 16. To undo a plus five, I'll subtract. And we get x equals 11. When I plug that in, that would make 16, which is a positive number, so I'm good. So the solution is 11. How easy is that? That's it for today. Have a great day.